الآن مع كلمة صاحب المعالي الدكتور فلكس موتاتي وزير التكنولوجيا والعلوم في حكومة زامبيا Minister of Technology and Science Government of Zambia The Minister of Industry and Trade The Minister of Communication, Information and Technology the change makers, captains of transformation, may I simply say, ladies and gentlemen, technology existed in ancient Egypt through the invention of mathematics, medicine, and writing. Today, Egypt stands tall. It stands tall like the pyramids. At the frontier of transformative technology that will drive this country to transition to a digital economy. A digital economy driven by your vision, a digital economy fueled by your ICT strategy. We come here as Zambia. We come here to forge partnerships. We come here to talk and engage with you we come here to share experiences and best practice. We come here that at the end of the day, we must begin to collaborate with each other. We must begin to invest in each other. It is also equally important for Zambia that we create a platform that will attract investment from Egypt into Zambia. Zambia is uniquely positioned with eight neighboring countries. And therefore, we think we are the most ideal candidate to be the digital hub of Southern Africa. And therefore, want to urge you that your new spirit to go into Africa, your first stop as you go into Africa should be Zambia. We shall welcome you. Chairman, let me thank you for the warm welcome and the hospitality. I've been to Egypt many, many times over the last 10 or so years. But what I see is tremendous change that has taken place since the last time I was actually here. In Zambia, the Ministry of Technology and Science was created last year in September 2021. And the mandate of the ministry was very simple, that we should embark on the digital transformation journey in order to create a digital Zambia. That was the mandate. The mandate from the president was to say to us, go and formulate a digital Zambia, a digital Zambia that will be anchored on three pillars. The first pillar being digital government services. The second pillar being digital innovation and entrepreneurship. And the third pillar is digital skills and capacity building 
in information communication and technology. Those three pillars whose apex is Digital Zambia is our pyramid in Zambia. We call it the Zambian pyramid. But in order for this pyramid to stand the test of time, we have addressed ourselves to creating an enabling operating platform. And this platform, one, was that we undertook a digital assessment and readiness of Zambia to determine where we were and create a path where we must go. And we found that in terms of readiness, we were at 45%. And therefore, we need to work very hard to reach 70%. But what is important is to know and define where you are, and define the journey where you want to go. And for us, the journey is very simple. Moving from data through information and knowledge to creating sustainable solutions, digital solutions. That is our clear journey. The second thing that we have done is that we have undertaken an exercise to revise our ICT policy because we are only one year old. The ministry never existed. And the third thing we are doing is creating enabling legislation. We are revising, for example, the cybersecurity law and creating the startup capital. The startup capital that will look after startups and also SMEs, creating within that framework also the provision of venture capital. We think this is important. Number four, we are anchored on good governance and the rule of law. We operate an open, transparent, and level playing field, which we think is good for business creating a responsible business environment. That is Zambia for you. We think as we attract foreign direct investment, it must facilitate and change the local environment rather than suffocating it. And five, we have said to ourselves, in order to go forward, it is important that beyond the issue of good governance, you have to create one, a platform of reforms. Reforms where you engage the private sector and public sector. And the aim of these reforms is to ease and reduce the cost of doing business. And the last thing that we're doing as Zambia is that we have changed the licensing framework. We are looking at the framework that encourages investment. We do not want to use regulation to inhibit investment, but rather regulation to motivate investment. So we think this is a key operating environment that we must have in order to attract investment from Egypt and elsewhere. And what are the areas that you may wish to look at in Zambia? We have been very specific that the number one area where we need to attract investment is in the area of connectivity, having robust digital infrastructure, in particular, high-speed and reliable broadband network, more so that we are positioned to be a tech hub 
in the region. Number two is digital services. In here, we're looking at online communication tools, e-commerce, government services, including creating cybersecurity solutions. And three, we are looking at skills. Making sure that we have that Zambian who is ready to move with the change. And that is what we are doing from the Zambia perspective. So as you go into Africa and make Zambia as the first stop, we are saying we shall be ready for you. The platform for investment is being built. We are looking at opportunities, not the challenges. We are looking at ICT contributing more than 5% of GDP by the year 2030. We are looking at transformation of the economy of Zambia through technology, creating growth, creating a competitive environment that is going to change the lives of the people of Zambia. So I'm excited to be here with you that if there's anything that we must do together is to persuade you to go to Africa. And Zambia should be and will be the first stop. So I invite you to what will be a Zambia-Egypt investment forum this year in October. Come and test the coffee. Come and smell the coffee. Zambia is open for business. And the chocolate sauce is that we are ready. I thank you.